So the update's out, and let's see what we have. New tower in action. New tower Gatling gun. Tower placement limit of one. Oh, these are all the stats. I'm not reading all that. Allows the user to take control of the Gatling gun. Bullets gain piercing. All oh, the there's actually like. Okay, that's cool. Um, level zero flying detection. Level three hidden detection. Gatling gun fires based on which enemies are in its cone of range. Thirty-two. What? Oh, Halloween in the works and pursuit rework coming soon. So let's just buy this. Um, I think I go to rewards and there it is, Gatling gun. Thirty-five thousand coins. This thing is expensive. Wow. Let's just get a load out here. We should do farm a Gatling gun, ranger. Um, I, I'm actually curious if it works with supports as well. So let's do DJ and then cook boss here. Go fallen. And let's see. Okay, I do have some consumables. Kind of forgot to bring that. Um, I didn't actually check if it had skins or not. But here we have the Gatling gun. It's 5k to place, so that's gonna take a little bit for me to get. Whoa, new GUIs as well. Oh, it makes like noises. No targeting remapping hockey. Still, so that's really annoying. I'm actually gonna turn my game's audio down. It's kind of loud. So noticing that you can actually place this on the ground and on a cliff. I still have to farm a little bit. Uh, that, I think that's because I made a mistake and I used Crook Boss instead of something like Cowboy. But I'm making do with what I have right now. And I have some farms over here. So let's just get this. I'll cut to when I have the the tower down. Okay, here we have the tower. And my character kind of messes up because it's just the way my avatar looks. But this thing is actively shooting at the stuff here in its little cone range. Which is pretty awesome. But the problem is, yeah, it's not going to turn towards these right here. So... You can't use it as main DPS for the entire time. Now let's get to the thing that everyone's been waiting for, which is first person camera. So yes, we could shoot the gun. Um, it has to reload, and you can see we have little cock keys in the bottom, which you can change and reload and stuff like that. Actually, it's not restricted to the cone range anymore. You could change the direction you're shooting. And I'm pretty sure you could probably have map map wide coverage with it as well. I'm shooting at this fallen squire right here. It's doing six damage per shot, which is pretty good. And yeah, it's dead already. I don't know if I could damage these hiddens though. Am I damaging them? Oh, I can't damage them. Okay, so let's just kill these then. Uh, I have to kill this this stuff now. I got distracted and opened up a supply drop. Yeah, you can see this is actually doing a lot of damage to these fallen squires here. I'm actually gonna have to shoot those hiddens because they're gonna get far. Yeah, I can like spread out the bullets throughout the crowd. That's awesome. Okay, let's get that supply drop, and now I can get bigger machine, which gets it to level 2, and I can shoot some more stuff now. We have 100 bullets compared to the 50 bullets from before. So there are stuff, there's stuff in the way that I can't actually shoot past, which is kind of annoying. But for now, I'm just going to keep mowing down these fallen squires here. I like that they found a way to make it unique, because if it had full round range, there's not really a reason to um, control it. Because then you'd just be doing less damage overall. A lot of breakers, and they're kind of getting far, so... But I can still reach them no matter how far away they are. I just have to work on my aim. That rusher... Uh, I gotta reload. Okay. You know. Okay, here's the fallen necromancer. Which I can shoot because I can ignore the aggro on these guys. Let me use... Uh, one of these... And then I'm going to do a barricade as well right here. So you see, I don't have to shoot it anymore now that it's just going on its own. Because I adjust the way that it's aimed. So it's firing on its own right now. Let's see if it works with DJ. It does work with DJ. Okay, that stuff's kind of getting a little bit too far. I, I can snipe that all the way over here. And I got $200 from it. Kind of getting bad. Um... Well, that's annoying. It's pretty much this entire tower. I didn't, I'm not really going to max it out because it's mostly going to be the exact same in terms of its DPS and stuff. So let me know if you actually like this tower. I think it's really cool. Uh, that's all for now.